What's going on everybody, Derps Classic here. If you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you've likely heard me discuss a particularly enigmatic sociopath named Joe. Now for the 10% of you guys watching this that were just born yesterday, Joe is actually my biological father, and I can already hear my mom scrolling to the comments to type, Xander, what the f*** do you think you're doing talking about your personal life on the internet? Do you seriously think people want to hear about your sad and pathetic childhood and daddy issues? And while I understand that my personal life doesn't concern anybody who watches my videos, Joe's a prick, so I'm doing it anyway. But today, in honor of the father of the year who abandoned that award in favor of a 16-year-long trip to the smoke shop, I, Derps Classic, proud owner of one of the saddest YouTube channels to ever exist, will be teaching you how to become a father. Let's begin this tutorial with step one, acquire a child. There are several different ways to get yourself a child, but for legal and moral reasons, I'm going to be sticking to the legitimate methods, such as surrogates, adoption, or even doing it yourself. Let's be honest, if you're watching this video, chances are you've never felt the touch of a real woman in your life, and probably never will. And I can't possibly imagine how you would manage to convince someone to become a surrogate parent to your nutrient deficient offspring, so it looks like adoption is our only choice. Now, if I had to guess, it'd probably be a bit difficult for most of you to walk into an orphanage or adoption agency because the mere sight of your crusty, acne ridden face would traumatize a child and leave them mentally and emotionally scarred for the rest of their lives. I suppose you can always become a Minecraft YouTuber and lure children to whatever rundown, termite infested, bumfuck nowhere crank shack you're living in for some cupcakes, but I'd rather not be associated with that portion of the YouTube community. And as a prominent follower of the homie Jesus JC Christ, I can't bring myself to promote that kind of shitty lifestyle, so your best bet at this point is to adopt a foster child. At any rate, once you've gone through the tedious process of filling out boring paperwork and making it rain for the specimen's biological parents, it's time for step two, fuck off. And for those of you at home watching this, scratching your hairy chins, wondering what in the shit I'm talking about, that's literally what it says here on the paper. It says step two, fuck off. Before you go anywhere though, you need to finish off with step three. Write a heartfelt letter to your soon-to-be estranged family. Keep it short and to the point, but make sure to make it as emotionally charged as possible to increase the chances of them feeling bad for you and it decrease the likelihood that you'll be charged for child support in the foreseeable future. A few of my colleagues have actually provided me with some letters their own fathers provided before suddenly disappearing from the family household. Let's read them together. I'm leaving my wife and two kids because I found my true passion, discord moderation. My wife, however, doesn't think it's a real job and thinks I should use my PhD in quantum physics to get an actual job to support our family. Whatever, Karen. Have fun with Johnny down the street. I will be leaving to go moderate my favorite server and hope I meet my kitten. This one's a real tearjerker. This grown-ass man chose discord moderation over using his PhD in quantum quantum physics, in hopes that one day he can meet his precious kitten who I can only assume is in the age range of 12 to 14 years old. My dearest Tiffany, life just hasn't been the same since you refused those breast implants. Every night I feel as if the night has consumed me, and every day I wake up to a darkened sun, the light stolen from my life. Goodbye my love, stupid bitch. This poor man's wife refused to artificially increase the size of her tits, and it's here when the realization hit that if he can't be married to a walking and talking blow up doll, his children aren't worth the time and effort. Dear Sharon, by the time you're reading this, I'm long gone. I left you while you and the kids slept. I know this must be hard for you to understand, so allow me to explain. I have dreams, Sharon. Dreams that you ripped apart from me when you decided to get pregnant in high school. We were young and dumb at the time. I was willing to raise a family, but over the years I felt empty, like something was missing. I realized I don't love you or our kids, and that's your fault, not mine. I never wanted these little retard babies, but you pressured me. But I'm done now. This is goodbye, Sharon. I know! I agree. It is Sharon's fault. If she wasn't opening her legs to every lesbian guy in high school, she wouldn't have gotten pregnant and had children. Remember, kids, peer pressure doesn't just apply to drugs. If you've made it this far into the video, then and congratulations because you've officially learned how to be a dad. If you somehow found this absolute dog shit tutorial helpful even in the slightest, then I would greatly appreciate it if you could skull fuck that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, or more videos in general, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the potty time bell so you're notified every time I hop on YouTube and take a big steamy shit. Also, follow me on Twitter because I only have two followers as of recording this, and join the Discord server if you want to talk with other like-minded, hyper-intelligent individuals such as myself. Have video ideas? Fucking tell me. Thanks again for watching everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.